Good afternoon to, uh, to everyone. Uh, my name is Henry Simons. I'm the Assistant City Manager uh, for Operations for the city of, city of Columbia. Of course, we would like to welcome you and, and thank you uh, for your presence today as we celebrate the new amenities here at Marshall Park. Thank you, Mayor Benjamin, our city council members uh, present with us today, Councilman Davis, Councilwoman Devine, thank you so much uh, for your presence on today. Of course, we would also like to acknowledge our uh, city manager, Teresa Wilson, of course, for her continued leadership and guidance on our initiatives in park and parks and recreation. We are so excited to be with you today for this ribbon cutting ceremony. This would not be possible without, the, without our partnership uh, with Wells Fargo. Through their, their neighborhood lift grant program, we were awarded $100,000 to fund this project. The playground features an innovative climbing, play components and swings that blend well with, with the natural landscape that you see behind me. The playground innovation provides children play, play features to explore and play creativity, balance, and coordination. It also helps with development, development of mobility, strength, uh, and coordination of their abilities uh, as they play. The playground presents opportunities to enable free movement, which also contributes to health and wellness. With these amenities in our community available to our citizens, we believe this enhances the quality of life for the entire family. So we are sincerely grateful that we were able to provide the resources to our children for this great community. Now this time, I will have our mayor, Steve Benjamin, to provide some remarks. Those remarks will be followed by Councilman Sam Davis, along with Emily Byrne, who is our president of the Earlwood Community Citizens Organization. Mayor. Thank you, Henry. Uh, thank you to you and our incredible uh, team at Parks and Rec, Randy, and the, the whole crew that you lead there. Uh, it's always great to come to a ribbon cutting. Uh, it's, it's, I think, that much more important when you're recognizing uh, a wonderful investment in our parks. Uh, our, our parks play a, a key role, vital to the health of our community. And as we went uh, through the master planning process, there are a number of existing parks, very few like Marshall, beautiful sylvan environment, natural, um, but some investment um, need to be made. And this wonderful partnership with Wells Fargo through their neighborhood lift grant on behalf of another quarter million employees across the, the world. Uh, we gladly uh, accept their support. Uh, we know that investing in our parks uh, not only improves property values, but obviously uh, improves quality of life, the health and family, uh, health of our families and our children, and certainly our overall economic and environmental uh, well-being. I um, certainly want to thank uh, Councilman Davis, and I'm not sure if Councilwoman Devine is speaking or not, but this is her neighborhood, so I know this is particularly important to her and her family. I want to thank them for supporting our staff uh, and the continuous investment in our city parks, particularly here in North Columbia. Um, again, a very special thanks to the folks at Wealth, Wells Fargo. Um, uh, they've been incredible partners to the city on a number of different efforts and some big things we're working on uh, together uh, in other parts of the city right now uh, as well. These new playground structures, um, outdoor gyms, and these other amenities will go uh, a long way in making sure that our children are healthy and strong and competitive as they step into the world that awaits them. Thank you. God bless you. The mayor has said it all. That today is um, a culmination of years of working with this neighborhood, working with staff, and carrying out our commitment to make sure that uh, every neighborhood, every area has the amenities and a place where they can recreate and get together. One of the things about the parks in Columbia is that the neighborhoods embrace the parks and they sort of set the tone for what really goes on in the park. And this is the culmination of some years of trying to make something happen here in an area that's really almost untouched. 
it's natural, and the artistry of the staff, I think, uh, sort of demonstrated that with this particular design, and we are trying to make sure that there's more to come to complement what we've already had. So um, we, the staff also, as the mayor has indicated, has played a major role in developing partnerships. Uh, partnerships from others who invest in the city and at the same time um, they're in the background but but they make sure that, that their partnership um, also makes a statement and so um, we wouldn't be here without that we wouldn't be here without the staff um, we wouldn't be here without the cooperation among council members and so that is the family and we hope that that family um, has done a good job in making sure that the families here um, make best use of this space and, and at the same time um, stay with us. Uh, we've made a commitment here and we intend to follow through with that. And you've also noticed throughout the city that neighborhoods tend to reflect really the, the personality of the park that's here and they tend to be first in line and in, in assuming the um, care, treatment, and again, the personality of the area. And this design makes sense. Uh, it, it blends in with what's already here. Thank you. Hello, my name is Emily Byrne. I'm the president of the Earlwood Neighborhood Association. Um, and also the mother of a high energy toddler who's going to love this when he gets a little bit bigger. Um, on behalf of our neighborhood association, our Earlwood neighbors, and all of the Earlwood kids, we have quite a number of kids living in the neighborhood now, which is fun to see. We would like to thank Mayor Benjamin, city council members, and Wells Fargo for our beautiful new playground equipment. Um, we lost our aging playground equipment here about two years ago, and I have to say, we would have never ever expected it to be this beautiful replacement. Um, over the past few weeks since the playground was first installed, it has been covered in climbing children and adults on a daily basis. Um, and we are just thrilled to see this park thriving. It's the center of our neighborhood. It's a beautiful, beautiful environment and we just cannot be more thrilled. Again, thank you all so much for providing our neighborhood and Marshall Park with this wonderful and innovative new playground. Just a word of thanks again to our Parks and Recreation Leadership Team, uh, under the leadership of Mr. Randy Davis, our Director of Parks and Recreation. I see Kenya, our Deputy Director, is with us today. Uh, Todd Martin, our Project Manager, he's here today. I see Karen Kusifik there, our Park Rangers. Uh, Ray Williams, Mr. Kitt. Uh, just thank, thank, thanks uh, to our entire team for the work uh, that's being done. We sincerely appreciate uh, your commitment to the citizens of this community. I also want to acknowledge our Parks and Recreation Board members uh, who help us in partnering with those in, or organizations in the community. Uh, much thanks to Fred Monk, our chair, and his entire board. Again, final thanks to our mayor, Steve Benjamin, uh, of course, Councilman Sam Davis, Councilwoman Devine, uh, and all, our, all of our council uh, for their support and guidance throughout this process. Uh, at this time, we're going to move from here uh, to do our ribbon cutting so if you all will move with us and then we'll have an opportunity after the ribbon cutting is done for time's sake um, to, to take any interviews at that particular time so thank you all so much for being here so we'll transition to the ribbon cutting at this time <laughs> 